Welcome to Restaurant Influencers presented by Entrepreneur Media. My name is Sean Walchef, founder of Cali Barbecue and Cali Barbecue Media. In life, in the restaurant business, and in the new creator economy, we learn through lessons and stories. We're so grateful for Toast, our primary technology partner at our barbecue restaurants for believing in what we believe in, which is smartphone storytelling. How can restaurants think beyond restaurants, be bigger than restaurants? And um, the guests that we get to bring on show you different ways to think we anybody that's new to this show you're playing the game within the game anybody that's consuming content that's trying to level up it's important for us to bring the best of the best on the show today we have stephanie solaire's welcome virtual dining concepts uh the ceo of one of the coolest brands in the restaurant space tech space hospitality space i'm so honored to have you on the show well thank you so much john i'm very happy to be here so Stephanie, I'm going to start with our favorite random question, which is where in the world is your favorite stadium, stage, or venue? Ooh, okay. And on the spot one. Um, well, I will go to a stage that I saw this past weekend. Okay. Um, it is a stage that is ever moving. So in new locations, uh, but it's at a particular event. So it's an event called Summit. And it is the Summit Series stage. I have been fortunate to go to see the stage in Tulum, in Los Angeles, in Palm Springs. And I'm a lover of learning. So what I love about this stage is that it's transformed by incredible thinkers, creators, leaders from, um, there was a Grammy nominated violinist this weekend, as well as a philosopher and leader, Jason Silva. There was an artist, Olivia Steele. And so this stage is just constantly transformed, not by the environment it's in, but by the people that uh, it brings to you. Have you spoken on this stage? Not yet. Beautiful, we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> So right now for our audience, what I love to do is give everybody the, the opportunity, the, the two minute drill of virtual dining concepts. Who is Stephanie? This is your stage. Let us know who you are and what you do. Oh yeah, perfect. So I'm Stephanie Soller, CEO of Virtual Dining Concepts. Um, and you know, about our business, I think it's super simple. Um, we help or we empower kitchens by helping restaurants generate more money from their existing infrastructure. Um, you may have heard of a new concept or a concept over the last few years called virtual brands. And what they enable is a restaurant to leverage on their fixed real estate, their existing labor and their ingredients to generate more dollars. Um, and so what we do at Virtual Dining Concepts is provide a portfolio of virtual brands. So super easy turnkey solution um, where we handle culinary R&D, marketing, technology, development, all the third party and first party relationships. So a restaurateur or anyone with a kitchen can just turn on a menu within their system and prepare, uh, prep and prepare the items when they come through uh, to be picked up. And for virtual dining concepts, what makes us a little bit different uh, than the other companies in this space is that we partner with creators and with brands who have a combined social reach of around 2 billion. Uh, so it is not a small number uh, so that we can help bring the power of community and these already engaged audiences to restaurants everywhere to support their business. I mean, I couldn't think of a more perfect guest to be on the show. This is literally, you know, our ongoing thesis about smartphone storytelling, turning our barbecue business into a media business. The fact that we're, we have a show now with Entrepreneur that reaches millions of people. Um, so much of what I truly believe in my heart and my soul about telling our story online, using the platforms that are available, the TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, podcasting, blogging, you name it. As yeah. restaurants, we can now share our story. But what's even more exciting is that if you're not ready to share your story, if you haven't, if you don't have the skill set yet, you mm -hmm. can partner and you can collaborate with existing creators. We are in the creator economy, people that have spent their life's work building a platform. So I want to talk about Jimmy Donaldson. So okay. I recently got invited to go to uh, to Toronto to speak to the top restaurant operators and hotel operators. Matt Rolf put on an incredible summit out there, but I, I brought up the, the, my keynote was about Jimmy. And Jimmy oh. Donaldson, for those that don't know, is Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast has spent the last 10 years building the most successful YouTube channel for a single content creator on earth. 
And what he has done with that by building this online community is now he has partnered with brands like you mm -hmm. to reach communities all over the United States. Can you tell me about Mr. Beastburger? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll start with your, your earlier point, which is it's incredibly hard to build any brand, right? There are so many channels. Um, there's so many new brands out there and it's competitive and it's getting more expensive to gain any visibility with a new audience if you don't already have brand recognition. Um, and when we were in the business of creating brands that initially live exclusively online, Right. And if we were to only use the traditional digital channels, it would be expensive from a marketing perspective. And so if you are going to build a brand online, why not partner with somebody who has built their entire world by communicating with an audience online? Um, and, and what you've seen from him over the last decade has been really tremendous. And truly, I've been you know, a bystander watching that journey. And he recently became the number one YouTuber this yep. past week, uh, surpassing PewDiePie. Um, and, you know, his subscriber rate is growing. I think someone I saw somewhere at the rate of the population. Um, it, it is incredible and it's a dedicated craft. And so for our business, you know, when we started that brand in particular, it was about supporting two different restaurant groups. Uh, one was specifically our, our partner company, Earl Enterprises, uh, which is in the casual dining space, which was really looking to um, you know, bring in new concepts, new revenue streams to their large real estate uh, portfolio, which not just is large in, in the quantity of locations, but also in the actual square footage of the particular units. And second, to provide independent operators um, the opportunity to, this is getting to your point, the opportunity to uh, tap into a super engaged audience by leveraging on Mr. Beast Burger and, and the Mr. Beast Burger world. Um, and what's been so interesting over the last, we're about to come up on our two-year anniversary, so December 19th uh, will be two years that we've been Amazing. <laughs> that we've wow. been in market with the brand. Uh, we're in five different countries. We have 1,700 locations of physical- 1,700 lo locations. Yeah. Wow. I know. <laughs> I think we're on pace to be- I, I, I mean, I, I don't, is there any restaurant that's grown that fast ever? I mean, is, it's gotta be a hit. It's gotta be historic. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty incredible. I think we're on pace right now at the seventh largest burger brand in the U.S. Um, uh, by unit count uh, and growing um, and just launched our first physical location in September. Um, so it's a crazy brand experience that started to support restaurants, but then gained its own recognition as the true uh, consumer brand that, you know, it's a double patty smash burger with a split top bun. It's a differentiated product. We spend a lot of time and energy building our packaging to, you know, deliver a moment that goes beyond food for the customer and introduce spectacle moment. Oh, <laughs> For those of you listening on the podcast, I had to do my own public market research and actually ordered a Mr. Beast Burger delivered to our my home studio in Chula Vista. But I couldn't be more impressed with the quality of the burger, the quality of the packaging, the dedication to storytelling, the dedication to social. Um, it's It's things that restaurants don't do very well but are so important when you're talking about extending your brand beyond the four walls of your restaurant. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about the packaging? Yeah. I mean, for us, again, as a, as a virtual brand prior to having a physical experience, the at-home delivery was our opportunity to bring the brand to life. And packaging is a moment for a fan to, you know, experience it when they open the door to touch and feel the box to take the pictures. I mean, we see constant photos of smiling families um, on Twitter, just like holding up the bag exactly like you just did, or kids with all the boxes laid out on their table, just smiling so, so excited. Um, and so that brand experience for them from a pa packaging perspective is so important. Um, I will say this year from just the market factors that have been impacting the restaurant industry and, you know, our world overall uh, have definitely encouraged us to take, you know, a, a, another look. And so we will be unveiling um, 
a new packaging experience that wow. we're very excited about uh, next year. And now a quick break from restaurant influencers to share an exciting new offer from our sponsor, Atmosphere TV. Go to atmosphere.tv forward slash BBQ to not only get Atmosphere TV for free, but also our audience is given the gift of $200 in ad credits, as well as free activation. Join more than 40,000 other venues who use Atmosphere TV by signing up with the code BBQ at atmosphere.tv forward slash BBQ. Keep guests entertained with Atmosphere TV because you have the ability to turn your promotions and your advertisements onto your television with this platform. The simple plug and play device lets you take control of the content on your screens. Keep guests entertained, engaged, and informed of real-time specials, career opportunities, and announcements that you can personalize within your own custom content dashboard. Tap into great channels such as America's Funniest Home Videos, Fashion, Throttle, Chive TV, Sports Highlights, Red Bull, Real Madrid, along with unbiased news and entertainment. There is something for everyone. Over 60 curated channels of short form, entertaining content to choose from right at your fingertips. They also have an incredible ad supported network that allows you to not only market within your four walls, but also locally or nationally if you desire. The platform gives you full control to dial in your marketing efforts. Please go and visit atmosphere.tv slash BBQ and let them know restaurant influencers sent you. Can you talk about, we have a lot of uh, people that are creators, creators, mm -hmm. popular creators, popular influencers. Maybe they're not yet in the restaurant space. How do you partner with creators? What's the process look like? Sure. I mean, for, for our business, we have three customers. Um, we have the restaurants, right? Where we're generating revenue for their business. We have the consumer who is experiencing the brand um, at, you know, at their home. And then we have our creator partners. Right. And when we think about the value that we're creating for them, it's an opportunity to expand and grow their legacy. Um, it's also an opportunity for them to generate a new revenue stream um, that goes beyond them having to create content every single day. Um, and so from our creators, we care about having a unique position. We care about um, having a, you know, strong values um, and uh, want to give back to the world in some way. And so if it's a, if it's a specific, if there's a creator watching who wants to partner with us, um, definitely reach out and we're happy to have that conversation because bringing the, um, power of what you're all creating to, uh, deliver a moment that goes beyond food is what we're trying to do here. Well, the incredible thing, you know, when you talk about storytelling, when I talk about smartphone storytelling, when we're producing a podcast or creating a TikTok video, you, as a business owner, and especially as a restaurant owner, one of the most important thing is local. You know, we want to get somebody local to come into my restaurant to buy my barbecue. Well, the world that we live in, the internet, anyone that has access to this community, they're interested. And the more that you put out into the community, the more interested people are. And what's really cool is that what you're doing for creators is you're allowing them to physically go into people's homes and into their hearts and into their stomachs. You know, that's the beautiful thing about food is when you partner with Jimmy and you Mr. Beast Burger and you create this moment. Now, this is a completely different user generated content that's coming from his fans. Mm -hmm. You know, when you open up Mr. Beast Burger in the New Jersey mall and there's 10,000 people at a restaurant opening. I mean, 10,000 people at a restaurant, that goes to the power of his brand. And that goes to the power of what he's trying to create. Um, can you talk about some of the other uh, partnerships that you have? Yeah, um, I definitely can. I think, well, I, I do want to comment on one thing you just said about the local versus kind of global uh, position. And, you know, that's one of the reasons for our business in particular, um, we look at large distribution for the brands um, because our creators often have uh, global followings, right? And for them to uh, engage with their, their community, they want to have an opportunity for the largest percentage of their fans or viewers or followers or subscribers, whatever channel <laughs> it is, to be able to place that order and experience that at home. I think one of the hardest things for us is when we get messages 
on our various social channels for all of our brands of when are you coming to my city or when are you going to be in my my hometown and um you know that is something that we we want to provide is the ability for a small community or a more suburban market to be able to get access to their favorite youtuber or their favorite tv show or their favorite creator yep um so some of our creator brands, I mean, this year has been tremendous. We've either launched or developed fully, um, we've either launched or developed 22 concepts in wow. this calendar year. <laughs> wow. Um, and, you know, what I've been thinking recently is, is the scope and range of our partnerships from the audiences and communities that they speak to, um, you know, these are unique and, and, and very, um, strong communities. They range from the brand we just launched this week. Uh, we'll be launching in 450 locations, a brand called Lanky Box Kitchen. Wow. It is with creators Lanky Box, uh, who have about 20 million subscribers on YouTube, 30 billion collective views on their various videos on Roblox and these plushies they have and Foxy and Boxy. And they create this amazing family-friendly content. My son has already um, been a uh, I would say indoctrinated into Lanky Box. He made it almost <laughs> through all of the videos so far. He's one and a half. So I think that says a lot. Wow. Um, but super fun creators. And so we're building this new brand called Lanky Box Kitchen, which delivers, you know, pizza, wings, and mac in these fall in these small tins that are great for, um, you know, for a, a family to experience and parents to provide to, you know, a birthday party or just a Thursday night dinner. It's so amazing for me to think, and, you know, I, unfortunately we we're not at the point where I, where our packaging, our to-go packaging is, is at this level, but mm -hmm. I think it's so important for anybody that's listening to this, to understand the world that we're living in. And, you know, when I think of unboxing, I think of an iPhone, you know, and I think of how did the iPhone revolutionize, how did Apple revolutionize this product of getting a phone, you know, getting yeah. a phone wasn't a sexy thing, but all of a sudden the way that it comes in the box, the way that it makes you feel the fact that there are no instructions with the yeah. iPhone, you just know how to use it. And because of things like that, brands, especially strong brands that know how to communicate online on YouTube and on yeah. TikTok and on Instagram are very brand first. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the, the development process that you go into from bringing something that's online to actually something physical that will get unboxed. Yeah, I mean, well, the the Lanky Box kitchen box is great. I mean, it's it's a a carry all, um, almost like a Happy Meal box where you've got your three tins that are exposed so that the food delivers well, plus a QR code on top of the box that when you scan it, it actually unlocks a unique video from the creators that's not available online unless you actually order the brand. Um, and so when we think about to your point, how we develop. The, the the content and the experience it's got to be close to what these um, creators are are talking about and sharing with their own channels. Um, we just did a brand with Phase Clan, so if you're familiar with Phase Clan, they recently went public, largest e gaming platform, e gaming sports team out there. They have about 350 million followers across their various channels. We're talking big numbers here, Sean. Yes. Well, the, um, what's crazy about what you say is what people don't understand is the compounding effect of those numbers. Yeah. So when Mr. Beast is as popular as he is, but then he gets invited to go on Joe Rogan's podcast and Joe Rogan has that reach. Now, all of a sudden, it's not just Mr. Beast brand that blows up, but Mr. Beast Burger inquiries go up and all of these things become exponential. So when you're talking about one platform, a creator dominating on one platform, all it takes is a little bit of a snowball effect where people that demand demand is there. The yeah. demand is there because of the community that they've built. We we live in a constant Venn diagram of both our brand partners and our marketplaces and our consumer direct areas and kind of that intersection where we bring everyone together with our consumer brands. And um, to your point, in an interview like that, I mean, the Venn, Venn diagram of Mr. Beast's world just expanded exponentially to an entirely new group that he wasn't exposed to previously. It's it's very, very impressive. For the people that are listening that own restaurants in these markets, what is their process looking like? Is there is there a menu that they get to pick from, from uh, if they want to partner with virtual dining concepts? 
Yeah, we have we have two ways um, that we partner with restaurants. Uh, one is, like I said in the beginning, we have a portfolio of pre-built brands um, that they're able to select from. So, you know, we'll look at one the operator quality, uh, the location that they're in. Does it align with the demographics potentially of the audience of the particular creator? Do they have the equipment required to uh, make the food items? Do they have majority of the ingredients and or SKUs. Um, and then truthfully, they can really select which brands actually work for their business. If they're making burgers, do they want a burger brand? If they're making burgers, do they want a different concept that doesn't interact with their core cuisine? And so those are questions that our restaurant partners or kitchen partners will have a different view on. Uh, we haven't found just it's, it's one size fits all in terms of what they're looking for. And then the other is when we're working with a large partner with um, significant distribution, uh, we can work with them specifically to develop a brand that starts out exclusive within their particular kitchens. So I was doing some work looking at your background and you've worked for the, the stealth company themselves, which is Cloud Kitchens. And I'll put them on blast because that's what I do. But we're <laughs> we're partners with Cloud Kitchens. Ah. We have, we have two ghost kitchen locations here in San Diego, one at Barrio Logan and the other one at Aztec Food Hub. I want them to be more public about what they do, helping restaurants um, get more more business um, at, at cheaper cheaper rates. And I also see that you've worked at DoorDash. Um, how were you uniquely qualified to be the CEO of Virtual Dining Concepts? Um, well, it, you know, it's interesting. We're in a new category and a new phase of evolution where what we're doing right now has never been done before. And so it's not about the exact resume or the um, tenure of being in just the restaurant industry. Fortunately, Virtual Dining Concepts was founded by um, you know, Robert Earl, Trish Giordano, and Robbie Earl, who have been in the restaurant space for decades, from, you know, founding Planet Hollywood, to Hard Rock, to Buca de Beppo, to Two J's. I mean, they understand hospitality, they understand casual dining, and they have this wealth of knowledge and expertise. And so when they were looking to bring someone into the organization, they were looking for someone with a slightly different perspective. Um, and so, you know, my background has been early days in fashion. So working with celebrity uh, on the cover of W Magazine at fashion shows at Christian Dior to the back end of technology and mobile technologies, both in location-based solutions and GDPR compliant data collection, uh, and then moving into, you know, food technology at that moment that we experienced accelerated growth and evolution to a rate that most industries don't see. Um, and so when you combine that together, it creates a very interesting perspective um, that I feel fortunate not that many people have had that type of um, you know, collective experience. And now a quick break from restaurant influencers to welcome our newest sponsor to the show, and that is Davo Sales Tax. Davo is an incredible company. I remember when we first opened up our restaurant in 2008, Cali Barbecue, we were struggling to figure out how to automate sales tax, how to have enough money in our account to file our quarterly taxes. I am so grateful that now today we have found Davo and they are a sponsor of the show and they are excited to help other business owners no longer have to become tax collectors. Davo does it all for you. They take care of the compliance. They take care of the collecting. They take care of the filing. Get your first month free by going to davosalestax.com slash influencers. Let them know that we sent you. Davo is an incredible company. We're grateful to have them on the show. They integrate with all the top POS companies, including Toast. DavoSalesTax.com slash influencers. Automate your sales tax today and get back to running your business. I think that's probably one of the things that gets me most excited about the hospitality industry is the intersection of, you know, I had Noah Glass, the founder okay. of Olo on this show, um, and he famously told me, which I, I, I repeat back all the time, but the, the smartphone, we talk about smartphone storytelling and the smartphone, the first iPhone came out in 2007, but it's the first place where there's the intersection of content, 
commerce and communication, content, commerce, and communication. And as restaurant owners and as small business owners, people have always just thought about their, their four walls. We think mm -hmm. about our village. We think about local. But now with this internet and with content being that connection piece with the communication and then the technology that can bring it all together, how mm -hmm. do you create a story and then through a story, make a purchase? And when you make a purchase, how do you make a memorable moment? Mm -hmm. your, your, your premise on your website, it says moments beyond food delivered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you live up to that promise? I think it's, you know, everything I've, I've been talking about from the packaging experience to the QR codes where you can engage in unique content to, you know, our social um, communication with our audience, right? It is not just the burger, um, but it is about the brand and it's about being part of a brand story. Um, and, you know, when you look at phase subs, for example, um, we created that with Phase Clan and in partnership with DoorDash. And when you look at the packaging itself, we specifically designed this packaging. Um, and maybe you can in post, you can edit some of these, the packaging. We can do that. We, we, I've got a team. <laughs> okay. We're going to show the we're going to show the uh, the Phase Subs and Phase Clan. Stover's yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. And so we thought about, you know, Phase is a gaming community and DoorDash is leaning into a gaming community because we know that gamers um, want to order food to their homes and not be disrupted in their gameplay. And so yeah. we created a sub packaging that can be held easily in one hand. And the idea is that you can continue to play your game without leaving your console. And so, you know, those are these moments that we're trying to create, right? It's ingratiating the sub into the gaming experience. It's not a breakaway moment, but it's a part of the experience that we're combining for our fans and consumers. I love it. Before we started the interview, we were talking about hospitality conferences and leadership conferences and how you've been on the tour, you've been on the circuit, so to speak. Um, it's one of the things that I'm very passionate about is improving these, these meetups because not only are these meetups important, but they're so valuable to the people because the people that go true relationships are developed. And as you said, you know, a relationship that you didn't think was going to happen, happened, you know, five years, something that you went to five years ago has now come into fruition. Can you, can you talk about what would you do differently from the best of the best, from all the best shows that you've been to? Um, what, what do you, what do you think stands out? Uh, what stands out to me at every conference is content that's not specific to the industry. Uh, content that's not a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> when you can create a learning environment uh, where people can come together and have a shared experience, um, that is when true relationships are made. Um, and it's not just the happy hour, but it's truly you know, there are various speakers. Jim Quick is a phenomenal speaker. And he talks about how you can, um, you know, learn, you can engage your brain and essentially learn faster. And he makes you stand up and do kind of really awkward things, but it creates a sense of, you know, laughter and um, community and it puts everyone on the same page. And I think to really make conferences, not conferences, <laughs> we have to continue to bring in outsiders from the industries and opportunities for curiosity and even like play. Um, and I think those are the moments that I will always remember from every conference. Um, and if we can have carve out moments for new speakers from new industries, the opportunity to learn will be everything. So you, uh, the company's headquartered in Orlando. You're based in Los Angeles. How, how many in virtual dining concepts? How big is the, the company? We have 50 people right now. 50 people. That's amazing. And uh, are you hiring? Are you recruiting? We are looking for a variety of roles. Variety of roles. Okay, great. Um, so I'm curious for somebody that's running as many different new brands. I mean, you said you're launching 22. That's how many you launched last year? We have, we have 22 brands that are either in market and live or have been developed and ready to be launched in this year. And then how many locations launched? We have several thousand locations around the world. Several thousand locations. Mm -hmm. With 450 that went live this week. 
<laughs> so one of one of my favorite questions to ask leaders is, you know, we're in the hospitality space and it's very difficult. We spend so much time taking care of our team, taking care of our community, taking care of our partners. Very rarely do we take care of ourselves. What do you do for yourself? Ah, uh, well, Sean, I am a boxer. So Oh, there you go. Nice. Uh, this is this is the other career of mine. Um, but I actually take a lot of my inspiration from uh just athletes and overall discipline and performance um from boxers. I think it's an incredibly challenging sport. It's scary. Um, it, you're always improving. It's always getting harder. Um, and my husband and I actually opened a gym with our coach in West Hollywood, nice. um, September of 2019 called Lobos Boxing Club. What's it called? Lobos Boxing Club. Sweet. Uh, so if you're in Los Angeles, come there on by. Come check um, it out. It's a community gym focused on just technique. We have kids classes. It's really important to, you know, uh, provide um, students and young kids with different tools to both, um, you know, learn how to handle their aggression, but also understand more of this mindset of stoicism and uh, potential losses and how you overcome uh, and the broader champion's mindset. So that settles me, uh, <laughs> getting in the ring settles me for sure. And that's definitely something I do, uh, to take care of myself. Love it. So every, uh, every week on Wednesday and Friday on the social audio app clubhouse, we host a room, a digital hospitality room for leaders, for people that listen to this show. And, uh, we oh. like to give shout outs to people that not only support this show, but, um, help move the show forward uh, this week's shout outs going to Carl Orsborn. Um, he helps set up this interview. He is an incredible leader delivering the digital restaurant. It's the number one book that I recommend to restaurant owners, especially those if you're listening to this content, uh, restaurant influencers, that book will help move you forward. But he helps set up this interview. I want to give you an opportunity since this is on entrepreneur um, to give someone a shout out on your team, somebody that's uh, helping moving virtual dining concepts forward, somebody that might not get so much love all the time. Oh. Wow. No, I put you on the spot. Look at that. That is, that's a tough one because I mean, everybody, I want to celebrate so... everybody. I need you to single somebody out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, there is, let's see, there are two people on our team. I've got to, I got to go with two and they actually okay. just won uh, two. Well, I'll highlight three because we had three culture awards uh, recently that we just gave out and there were three people. Um, there's, Will Garvey and there's Raf and then there's Kristen who are phenomenal partners, leaders, and just positive members of our team. And, um, you know, Will collaborates with so many organizations outside of virtual dining concepts. Raf is constantly launching new brands and not just with creators, but also with our enterprise partners. And Kristen develops our training materials, both for our internal teams and also all of the restaurants that we bring on board. Um, and so these three individuals were just recognized in the company uh, and definitely need to be recognized uh, constantly. Um, and so they are definitely three that I want to highlight. That's awesome. There you go. You got some love on entrepreneur.com. Congratulations to you guys. Yeah. We can't, we can't do it by ourselves. And I'm, I'm grateful for my entire team at Cali barbecue media. Thank you guys. Um, where can people keep in touch with virtual dining concepts, follow you online and uh, connect with you? Sure. We are on LinkedIn. We're also on Twitter. I think LinkedIn is probably our most active for virtual dining concepts. Uh, and then for me, I'm at Craig and Sollers on Instagram. Uh, Craig and is my middle name. So C-R-E-G-A-N. Uh, and also on Twitter, just a footnote, my majority of my content on Instagram is boxing, but I will always be sharing the conferences and the content and our brands uh, through various stories. That's awesome. I love it. Well, you guys can connect with me at Sean P. Walchef. That's S H A W N P W A L C H E F. That's Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, all the fun places. Be sure to join us on Clubhouse. As always, stay curious, get involved. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, don't be afraid to visit your 
order from your local beast burger um check out virtual dining concepts if you're a restaurant owner and you're looking to increase revenue um i love what you guys are doing and uh it's this is just the beginning i mean we're at the beginning of a very very long marathon and it's just a very exciting time to be in the uh, in the food and media space so thank you thank you sean appreciate it and a special thank you to our title sponsor toast toast is the primary technology partner that we use at our restaurant cali barbecue It is also the primary technology partner that so many of the guests have shared with us on this show people like sam the cooking guy stacy poon kinney jeff alexander so many times the guests tell us that they're using toast when we didn't even know that going into the interview that is why we are so grateful that they sponsor this show we want you to win you that listen to this show we want you to improve your digital hospitality toast is built for restaurants and it's built for you toast is the restaurant first platform that's built for your needs whatever your size concept or ambitions improve your bottom line with a customizable platform that's easy to learn use and grow with and it meets you where you are with all the right tools for your price point if you have any questions about toast please dm me at sean p walchef s-h-a-w-n p-w-a-l-c-h-e-f i will get you the link to the right toast contact in your market it's so important that if you listen to this show that you win we want you to be on this show eventually let us know that you heard the show you heard about toast you implemented toast you did a toast unboxing in your restaurant talk to us about how you've impacted your village your city your community share your toast story with us dm me today to learn more and be sure to check out toast